Okay, so it's the ball night. Let's see. Dear diary, I sent Martin a message yesterday telling him I will meet him at the ball. If he somehow manages to come, but I shouldn't count on it. I have to be late, no reason to be alone at the ball longer than necessary. Everyone was already dancing and having fun. That's so upsetting. I don't know what to do or where to go. So, as to not get depressed, I decided to go get some punch. Mm, okay. Near the food table was Logan. Who's Logan? Uh, I think that's my friend. He looked almost at this, uh, as depressed as I did. Girl, we're not depressed. Hey, I said, getting a cup and serving myself. Wow, you look amazing. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> I tried. I smiled to him. Thanks. And you look like a gentleman yourself. He thanked me and went silent for a second. So, where's Martin? He had an interview. He probably won't come. What? Why? He said he couldn't miss it. Seriously, how could he deny you? His voice faded. But, okay, it's not that deep. But he's, wait, what? Okay, I looked at him. I mean, but he stopped when he saw something behind me. Well, someone must have got a traffic ticket. And he backed away. Oh my god. I turned around to see Martin. Oh my god. You came. That's what she said. I said, so <laughs> I'm so surprised. Yeah, I managed to get interviewed earlier. You look incredible. I thanked him. Oh my god. Oh my god. How did the interview go? He thought for a split second. It went real great, but come on, let's enjoy the ball. That's key. And so he went on the dance floor. I soon noticed that Martin was nervous and that he also wasn't an amazing dancer. He've been there. An agitated song was playing and I wasn't sure how to dance with him. It was a bit pathetic, but in the end we managed to deal with it. A 7-5 song began to play. Oh, I love the song, Aleal. Martin didn't know the band, obviously. I looked around searching for Logan to give him that we know the song look, but I didn't see him anywhere. And Kim and Lexi were too busy with their dates. So I enjoyed the moment with Martin as best as I could. Later, when we were having punch, he turned nervously to me. Anna, I need to tell you something. I forgot my name was Anna. Wow. I looked at him. What is it? Could we talk outside? We went together to the school gardens and sat on a bench. I'm scared. So he began. I really wanted a better way to say this, but I can't hold any longer. Look, I'm kind of moving out for a while okay what do you mean yeah i'm going to the <sighs> mechatronic camp of the interview it's now i let out loudly well next week i will attend the summer classes because okay i will attend the summer classes because of the robot battle i was invited to the ripley institute of technology i'll have a full scholarship and that could be a straight line to college i went silent congratulations i said feebly i'm really sorry he said but it's just for three months as soon as it's over i'll come back we could keep a long distance relationship right what i asked him you know we could use webcams and microphones on scar to chat for as long as we like we can even play online games together i mean yeah i promise you never I promise you wouldn't forget I'm away. He came closer to me. Could we try it? Please, Anna, he begged. Um. Hmm. So I either go for, I'm sorry, but I don't think I'll be able to do this. Uh, okay, just three months to find a way. <sighs> I want to say, um, okay, just three months to find a way. Just because, like, three three months passes by really quickly but mm, you look for this one. Oh, thank you so much and he embraced me we stayed like that for a moment 
I don't know how it would be, but I really like Martin. He's just so sweet. And it's not like he'll be there forever. He's coming back. I, mean, I hope so. Well, I'm gonna miss him. But we still have a week before he goes away. We'll make the best of it. Hmm. After party. Okay. When I got home, I had a major tax ahead. Telling Kim and Lexi everything. I kind of needed them right now. I opened friend book and began a conversation with both of them together. Hammering them down the whole story. And I... Huh? And I now... What kind of English is this? And now we're gonna try a long distance relationship. Hmm. Said so Lexi, well, you could try, and I think it will actually work out. You know, but it could be a good thing to the less you see each other, the more you want to be with each other. When is when is he coming back again? In three months. Well, look, him started. If it works, then it's really meant to be. Try it out and see how you two feel about it. In any case, it's just three months. It might look like a lot, but come on, you've got the internet on your side. Trust yourself, girl. She's right, and what will be shall be. And I shouldn't keep worrying about it now. Actually, I think I should try out a new hobby over this summer. I mean, if he was focusing on his career, why shouldn't I? I could try out different things. Watch videos and see what I like best. Who knows? Maybe I could find what I would want to work with on college. Yeah, I'll focus a bit more on myself. Why not? So this is the end of the season. Like, uh, I don't really want to change anything, to be honest. I think I'm fine. Okay, so now it's like fast forward into September. Dear diary, sorry it's been a while. These last few months have been a bit intense. What is the question? After the school ball, I felt like my life changed so much. Boys can really mess up a girl's perfectly normal head. I never saw myself as such a stone cold heartbreaker, but hey, apparently I am one now, lol. That's because if you remember, I went to the ball with Martin. The ball was all kind of perfect until Martin broke the news that he had to move out of town. Oh yeah, that was a heck of a surprise. I guess the reason I agreed with a long distance relationship. At first it was nice while we were constantly chatting on Scar, on Friendbook and Charlie City Picks on Snapchat. But then he had to start attending more classes and got really busy with the program. I'm not blaming him. That was the whole point of me going there. But it was tough and a bit disappointing, I must say. I barely felt like I was in a relationship. We couldn't talk and I didn't want to get in the middle of his studies. So after a couple of months and a long talk, I talked to Lexi and Kim. We ended up agreeing that it was getting nowhere. And I went to Martin and asked for a break. He was so busy that he had no room for great reactions. I'm pretty much okay now, even if I can't say the same about him. We barely had time to discuss the break. Apart from that, I got a summer job. Dad thought it would be nice and an opportunity to become more responsible. Seriously, Dad, David is not the role model you think he actually is. Actually, I'm the one in charge of taking care of Laura and the house in that my parents are out. Still, I felt that it would be good, a good idea. My summer job was... Hmm. Um... I'll do... Um, a video store one. I really enjoy movies and figured the job would be easy peasy as everyone has Netflix these days and barely wear movies anymore. But 
boy was I wrong it seems like all the old ladies and cinephiles of the neighborhood go there daily despite some hard time trying to find particularly ancient movies for the forgetful ladies at the store it was fun to watch way more movies than I would if I stayed home for summer ironically okay I think I'll end it here yeah Let me know if you guys enjoyed it and if you want to see more. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.